Welcome to the post-apocalyptic world of Fallout, where danger and terror lurk around every corner. Among the many creatures that send shivers down even the most seasoned of players' spines, one stands out as the most hated and feared of them all, the Cazador. With their bright orange wings fluttering erratically over nearby hills, the sight of these repugnant hell spawn is enough to make players desperately run in the other direction, wishing it was just a bloat fly. Even if you do manage to take one down, another five will surely spawn around the next corner, ready to sting and inject you with their lethal poison. But what makes these stingy boys so tough and deadly compared to all the other wildlife in Fallout New Vegas? Well before we dear viewer dive into the actual lore reasons for this, I wanted to touch on the actual gameplay reasons for having these extremely tough foes. Besides serving as a challenging foe to test yourself against, these buzzy lads also act as an invisible wall to guide you on the right path to progress the game's story, as the way you are intended to experience the game is to head south from Good Springs past Prim, through Nipton, Novak, and up to Freeside. So rather than using mountainous unpassable terrain to stop the player just heading directly north from Good Springs to New Vegas at the start of the game, the game devs instead placed high-level enemies such as the Death Claws of Quarry Junction, and various swarms of lethal cazadors in certain strategic locations to viciously take out any low-level players attempting to skip the game's intended path towards the south of the Mojave. I just thought that was a rather neat fact. Anyway, on to the lore, as the rather unique way these cazadors were created goes some way to explaining why they're such pricks to fight. The Cazadors, with their dark pulsating carapace and lethal retractable stinger, originated from Big Mountain. Because of course they did, only the messed up mind of Dr. Boris could have come up with these creatures. According to Boris himself, he created the first of these Cazadors on a Tuesday. A Tuesday in May 2003 to be exact, although whether we can trust this fact is up for debate, as Boris also refuses to believe that the Cazadors have escaped Big Mountain for the Mojave and that they have the capability to breed. Both of these statements have been proven untrue as the Cazadors escaped Big Mountain long ago and now reside and thrive in multiple growing colonies around mountainous regions and near large bodies of water, building their large basket-shaped nests on nearby walls. Boris went about creating these creatures via various DNA experiments, similar to those he conducted to create the equally terrifying Night Stalkers. However, instead of the rattlesnake and coyote DNA used to create the Night Stalkers, the Cazadors were created in the Z14 Pepsin-A DNA splicing lab via genetic experimentation on the terrifying real-world tarantula hawk wasp. And these things are absolutely terrifying. Like, if you thought the Cazadors were bad, wait until you hear about these guys. The Tarantula Hawk Wasps, measuring up to 5cm long, are a type of wasp that, as you might have guessed, hunt out tarantulas. And their sting is regarded as one of the most painful of all insects, with one researcher describing the pain of the sting as immediate, excruciating, unrelenting pain that simply shuts down one's ability to do anything except scream. And these things, they, they don't hunt their prey for food, no. These guys get their nutrients from sugar-rich nectar, so when they're hunting you across the Mojave, the Cazadors aren't simply trying to kill you for your beautiful, fleshy nutrients. No, they want you for something far more terrifying. The female variations of these real-life Cazadors fly close to the ground searching for tarantulas, and upon finding one, they sting it between the legs, paralyzing it. The wasp then drags the tarantula to its burrow, where it lays a single leg on the spider's paralyzed abdomen, before sealing the entrance to this den. When the wasp's larva hatches, it then burrows into the spider's abdomen, feeding on it whilst avoiding the organs for as long as possible to keep the spider alive throughout. After several weeks, the now adult wasp emerges from the spider's abdomen, ready to continue this horrific cycle. Ain't nature wonderful? So just remember, the next time you get taken out by a Cazador whilst patrolling the Mojave, remember it's not just killed you. No, you've just been paralysed and dragged to its underground lair, ready to have its lava burrow into your still living body, slowly eating you alive. Sweet dreams everyone, I hope this video hasn't given you nightmares. Are the Cazadors the most nightmare fuel enemy in Fallout? Are there any more disgusting or disturbing creatures? worse than these stingy boys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and make sure to subscribe for more lore. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.